One of our key responsibilities at IRCA is to promote the increased use of renewable energy in the Bahamas. In keeping with that responsibility, we are pleased to invite you, our stakeholders, to participate in a public consultation on IRCA's proposed guidelines for the approval of renewable energy self-generation projects, referred to as RESG projects. Okay, so let's start off by talking about what is an RESG project. RESG stands for Renewable Energy Self-Generation. Uh, persons may recall in 2017, ERC established the framework for Small Scale Renewable Generation, SSRG. Those were for systems, residential and small commercial systems up to 100 kilowatts. RESG is for systems above 100 kilowatts, commercial and government. And what will these new proposed guidelines do? Simply put, the new guidelines will explain how these individuals, commercial and government, may apply for approval of the RESG system. And tell me more about what kind of systems can be installed and how. It covers any renewable energy system, uh, but with the current technology for the Bahamas, we, we anticipate that it will be solar, uh, photovoltaic panels, and in the family islands, some wind. Um, and it also covers off-grid or on-grid systems. And the capacity will range from 100 kilowatts up to one megawatt. And tell me, what is the proposed financial arrangement? The proposed financial arrangement is what is referred to as buy all, sell all. Um, the reason for this is that these entities, more commercial and government, can represent a, a significant portion of the utility's income. So it requires that they be treated um, to preserve to a certain extent that income so they have the funds to invest in infrastructure projects in the future. That's for on-grid systems. If you're an off-grid system, obviously you have no commercial arrangement with the electrical utility. And what does all of that mean? Good question. So buy all, sell all is a financial treatment of the electricity that's generated by the renewable energy system versus the electricity that is consumed by the consumer. So all the electricity that's generated, the utility will compensate that entity for that at the fuel charge. All the energy that is consumed, which includes the energy generated by the photovoltaic renewable system, will be paid for at the existing rate, the base rate plus the fuel charge. So there's a slight difference there in the financial treatment of it. To further explain the buy-all, sell-all concept that Jonathan mentions, let's take a hypothetical company in New Providence wishing to save on its energy bill. The company's electricity bill annually is about $100,000. The company installs an optimally sized solar system capable of producing all the energy the company needs. The company registers with IRCA's RESG program and connects its solar system to the electricity grid so that it could sell the power generated by its system to BPL. The company sells all the power its system produces to BPL for a cost of $70,000. So instead of paying BPL $100,000 annually, the company now pays $30,000, a saving of 70%. So I think all of this now has to be approved. So what is the proposed approval process? So IRCA will administrate the approval process. It will pro provide approval for the RESG system. In addition to that, the systems will require the approval of the Ministry of Works. For grid-tied systems, it will also require an interconnection agreement with the electrical utility, which deals with that financial arrangement we spoke about earlier. Now let's talk guidelines for a bit. Um, will the guidelines apply throughout the entire Bahamas? The short answer is yes. Um, the proposed guidelines will cover, will relate to small commercial and government entities throughout the Bahamas. I wanna talk a little bit about the consultation process, getting into how it will work, and certainly how can members of the public become involved? Good question. We are really expecting a lot of feedback. We want the public to tell us just how they feel about any aspect of the consultation document. We are also going to provide some questions that we want you to consider, and those questions will show at the end of this video presentation. 
go to the website, download the document, make sure that you send the comments within the deadline, which will be stipulated in the consultation document. Once members of the public have gone on, looked at, at the document, how do they then submit their comments? The comments should be submitted to IRCA. You can walk into our offices located in Frederick House, Frederick Street, Nassau, or you can email your comments, info at ircabahamas.bs. You can do the traditional way. You can mail them P.O. Box N4860, Nassau, Bahamas, or you can send them by fax, 242-393-0237. You can call our help desk at 242-393-0234 and speak with a representative of IRCA on our help desk. Or you can go to our Facebook page. Now, once members of the public have had an opportunity to go online, see the information, provide their feedback, comments, what is the time frame uh, to which we can hear back from you on what the final determination is? June, we try to respond uh, and do this process, complete this process as quickly as we can. So we collate the information that we receive, uh, we do our research, we do our summary, prepare our determination, and we try to have this document ready within 30 days of the close of the deadline for submission of comments. And once that is done and that document is prepared, it's uploaded to our website. We will make an announcement to the public that the uh, review or the final determination is ready for public consumption.